two, one. Testing, testing. What was it like for a young black person growing up during the 1920s and 1930s? Well, the first part of that I spent, of course, in South America, in Guyana. It was a colony of the British Empire. It was though the sort of education that didn't free you, it tied you. Because you had always the feeling that the glories were of the past and that you as a colonial had no opportunities really to perform. You could understand and repeat, but you did not have, would not have the opportunity of being a central figure in history. Despite the fact that I landed in Jim Crow, Georgia, and was terribly shocked, I was no longer a colonial. I was now somewhat of a participant. If you could get rid of this discrimination and degradation and that sort of thing, I could eventually be at the center of history. I knew what Hitler was doing was intolerable and I knew I would be opposed to that and it was worth risking my life for. But at the same time, there was a feeling in my mind, if I returned, would I have to face the KKK? And uh, what was the real difference as far as the individual was concerned? To be killed by stormtroopers for the world to be taken over by the Nazis or to be killed by the Ku Klux Klan because you were an uppity nigger, as they'd say. It was a very, very difficult situation to be a black administrator of a state school and a state that said, these things are unlawful. And to say to your students, these are your rights. I identify myself with the students. Uh, these are rights and no matter what the consequence. to say to yourself, don't you dare forget that you represent, elected or not, all the minorities, black, Indian, Mexican-Americans, and that sort of thing, and that you have a mission. I think if you look out of the window, you'd see black, white, brown students walking on campus. And apparently, with a great deal of ease, that was not so when I came here. And I just want to go out with fully appreciating the fact that I've lived, with the joy of life and a feeling of victory that maybe I've done some little thing to kind of make it easier for succeeding generations to live together with more peace and to respect the dignity of everybody.